I'm a flying midget, and today we're gonna be trying some Japanese snackums. So I haven't made a video like this in forever, dudes. It's literally been forever since I made these videos. A lot of you guys watching this probably haven't seen any of these videos before. I'm gonna leave a playlist link down below if you guys check it out. I've literally tried so many foods from around the world, guys, so no matter where you're from, go check out my playlist on there. I bet I have something that I've kind of tried or whatnot from your home place. I've tried food literally from Everywhere guys England Norway. I mean you name it. I've probably tried it from okay, but today we're doing Japanese stuff Oh, and uh, there's one thing we're missing BAM much better so check it out dudes All right, so in the past I've always had kind of fans or other people kind of send me some cool uh, Some cool kind of boxes with food right I got this one here right now. It's called crave Japan Okay, and it's Japanese snacks um, so we're gonna dive into it now I also think it's important to note guys that uh, that that the guy who actually owns this company I'm gonna leave all sorts of information down below for you guys to check out if you guys want to get yourself one of these box All that kind of fun stuff guys. It's actually um, a, a pretty close friend of mine I'd say I'd say a pretty close friend of mine um, Actually runs this company now and, uh, and I think it's awesome and He's like Sean I'm gonna send you some some stuff and you can do a little video and I was like heck freaking yeah, baby So BAM we've got this little guy. Uh, it's like a little card or something and it's, uh, it's basically like everything about the company and about what we are about to be eating. So literally it says, we love Japanese snacks and how they add excitement to any occasion. I bring the hype though, you know what I'm saying? Just kidding, okay. Uh, Crave Japan is our way of sharing the snacks that give so much joy with as many people as we can. Heck freaking yeah. And then it goes through everything we got in the box, which we'll get into. Also, I just noticed this. Bam. $10 off. Uh, get $10 off your first order. www.cravejapan.com. Um, and it's got a little code on here. So I'll tell you what, dudes. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm going to go ahead and show this to the camera. If you guys are one of the OG fans that watches my videos right as I upload them, or maybe this code might still go on for a little while, I'm going to go ahead and go, bam. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know. I'm going to get a little closer. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that code right there. Um, Dino VIP, go to CraveJapan.com, get $10 off your first box. I don't know, might as well. I'm not going to use it, so when do you do to use You know what I'm saying? I get these boxes all the time. When you guys can get these boxes as well. But okay, let me show you guys what we got in here, all right? Literally, it's, it's insane. I mean, I could just, like, it's at just, I mean, it's, it's insane. Anywho, I guess we'll start out with this guy. Peach, I don't know, it just says peach flavor with some weird looking, uh, mascot. That's, oh my god. What in the poop noggin? I don't think these are supposed to be stuck together. That's also something I need to know. I live in Arizona, if you guys didn't know. It's very hot here, okay? So a lot of stuff might have melted on the way over here. But anyway, I don't know if I'm supposed to eat these separately or like they're all stuck together, but I'm just going to go... Mm. Wow, it's actually really good. I was surprised by this gummy. I'm not a peach kind of guy, but these are just peachy. I also rate everything in my videos, so I'm going to go ahead and give this guy probably like a 6.5 out of 10, of course, because when is it ever out of 9? Anyway, we've got this, um, I can never read anything on it, but sometimes I get some English. So we got melon soda on this. Um, oh my god, it actually feels like it's liquid. Oh my god, what does it say about this stuff? What? It literally says that this is a drink and it's got some sort of kick to it. I'm scared to, like, what? There's no way. Why is this a drink? And what is this? What? This looks like a freaking water gun. Like, choop, 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 choop. Like, what is. How am I supposed to even drink this? I'm really confused here. There's no uh, instructions on what I'm supposed to do. So, do I just. Bite nose, okay, what do I do? <laughs> Skizzers time, baby. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and like try not to make a mess because I am literally at my desk right now and I'm not. Uh! I'm literally making a mess already. Um, and I'm usually not at my desk, so I don't ruin everything. All right, I think we're good. We're going for the kill. Are we ready for this? Wow, okay, okay, so I think this is like their way of trying to make a super sugary drink, but we're from America, baby, we know what real sugar is, and this is like sugary, but not quite American sugary, you know, because we're all a little big, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that was fun, moving on to the potato chips, which I can't rush to open right now, there we go. Alright, they got potato chips in Japan, who would have thunk, I thought that was only in America, just kidding, just kidding. 
calm down in the comments, okay? All right, we're going to need this. Where's the flavor? This is about as basic as it gets, okay? It's like literally when you go to the store and you buy the blandest potato chips there are, you buy these. You, you buy these. I mean, not bad. They're just not stellar. Gives them a five on the scale for sure. Also, for the watermelon drink, I'm going to give that one a six as well. It was all right. You know, it wasn't bad. Usually, by the way, most of these videos, I pretty much hate everything I taste. So, so far, this Japan box is off to a really good start because, honestly, my taste buds are very... How do, I, how do I put this? Very picky. Very picky and very American kind of stink distinction. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, I'm not usually about this whole Japan stuff and other things that we try. But we got this cocoa based candy now. Uh, or no, not candy. It, it looks like it's a cracker, but it looks like it is an absolute mess. It is going to make an absolute mess. I literally hate my life right now. I hate my life. Not even that good. Biggest mistake I've ever made in my entire life was open. If you guys could see me in the floor right now, imagine taking a full thing of crackers, squishing them all up so it's just powder, and then just let it let it rain on you. That's basically what happened. It totally hasn't been like 30 minutes and uh, took me to, you know, clean that up. I'm, I'm just going to move on and act like I cleaned up my desk even though it's absolutely a mess. Okay. Anyway, we got this chocolate thing, which is probably melted because, again, Arizona. It's like constantly 100, 100 plus degrees here. All right. Whoa. Wait. What is this? Hold on, dudes. If I could open it. You know, I actually have scissors literally right here. So we're just going to go ahead and do one of these guys. Oh my gosh, look at how epic this is. I don't even know if you guys can see this. It's probably super blurry, but literally insane. It's like cookies and cream and chocolate, like all mixed together. Oh my god. I don't even know how to eat this since it's all like melted, so I'm just gonna. Mm. One of the best things I've ever tasted in my entire life. If it wasn't melted, it would have been so much better, but it's literally. Oh. Dude, it's so insane. It's insane. I don't know how I eat it. Well, I want it real bad. Okay, we're gonna go for the Mogu Chew candy now. Um, I don't really um I don't really like reading the little thing to like tell me what I'm about to expect. I like to just kind of see what happens. Like what? Like these are wrapped like this. Like what is this? It's some sort of kind of like like chewy thing, it looks like, like almost like a like, like a, oh god, it's almost like a starburst, so I guess we're gonna see how the Japanese starburst is. If you guys are also from Japan, let me know in the comments down below. Um. Wow! That was so good. Dude, literally this box is insanely good. I knew when I got this box, it was meant to be like everything that people would really like. But wow, do I freaking love this box of art. These things were so good. It was like, oh, it's got strawberry and lemons on it. Literally such a good, like, literally like Starburst flavor. Not as sugary, though. So honestly, it kind of gets a little bit bonus points on that because it tastes good without sugar. I'm going to have to throw that one like an 8. I'm going to have to throw that one like an 8. Last one, the chocolate one, probably like a 9. All right, let's go for this Noir Black uh, Cocoa. They look like mini Oreos. Um, and so I'm basically going to be comparing them to Oreos because they are Oreos. I'm literally looking at them right now. They're Oreos, okay? Tell me that's not an Oreo. That is 100% an Oreo. We'll see what uh, Japanese Oreos are like. Tastes just like an American Oreo, but not enough sugar. You already know. Sugar's lacking for sure, but still really good. All right, we're going in for something that really doesn't have a name on it. Monster Stamp or something like that. Monster Stamp... Oh, what the poop? It's literally like a stamp. It's literally like a little stamp, kind of like... I don't think I did that right. <laughs> I'm going to eat it, y'all. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ow. Well, oh, my God. A little bit hard, but... Wow. Really sugary. 
I'm really good, honestly. Those are like those, um, those like sweet tarts, like those little sweet tarts kind of thing. Like they're chewy and they break apart into like, no, they're not chewy. They're like hard and they break apart into like powder. Wow, lots of flavors of that. I really like that though. That was probably like a lot of sugar on that. I'll give it like a 7. I'll give it like a 7 to an 8. It was, it was pretty dang good. All right, we got another drink right here and it says Sangria, I think it is. S no, Sangria. Sangria. Now, we have Sangria. You know, sangria is like, like an alcoholic beverage, right? I think. I don't know. I, mean, I think that's what it is. I don't really know, but I do like how they do tell you, in English, the nutritional facts. This is a carbonated soft drink. Should, should I shake it up? I really, I've already made a mess. I'm not doing it. Ugh! Actually, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad at all. Okay. All right. What are we working with here? Ooh, smells really good. Wow, look at this can, though. It's like baby size. Like, in America, we have real size cans. These are like, um, I don't know, the size of, like, my pinky almost. These things are tiny. We need some America size cans. All right, only if it's good, though. Here we go. Good. Honestly, I feel like everything was altered to be like good for Americans. Cause honestly, I feel like I shouldn't be liking this much stuff. And I really like like all this food I've tried. This is really good as well. I don't even know if I could like really pinpoint what kind of fruit it is. I know I tried some of my British drinks video. I tried some Ribena. Disgusting. New kind of fruity flavor. Hated it. Don't know what this is. Like it though. Like it a lot though. 7 to an 8 for sure, and I'm visiting Japan before the UK, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's try a few more things here. We got this, um, no idea what this is, there's no English on this. Alright, here we go. Snack, Carinto, Carinto snack. Alright, Carinto snack. Not quite sure we're supposed to open these things, it's very, very, oh god. Wasn't as bad, okay, wasn't as bad as the other one we opened, but still made a huge mess. Look at these things, these things look weird, I probably won't like these, I just smelt them. I probably won't like these. The first thing really in this box I didn't like. This, well, I haven't tried it yet, but that's what I'm thinking. Here we go. Uh-uh. 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 That tasted to me like, um, I can't even put it in, it's like, it's like a breakfast food for kids, and I can't even think about it. It's literally just such a weird, weird taste. Almost like, like, I, I literally can't even describe it. It's like maple syrup, almost. It reminds me of breakfast, but like for kids. I don't know why. Not a fan. Probably going to go with the three to a four. Ooh, I just found the Japanese animal crackers, all right? Japanese animal crackers. Let's see how they compare to American animal crackers. Because a lot of people say animal crackers in America are just for kids. Well, that makes me a freaking kid because I love those things, all right? Here we go. All right, so we're, we're double wrapped. We're double wrapped, you know, just, just for safety measures. All right, here we go. They're literally just graham crackers. They're not really sugar, which is good. It's fine. Yeah, nah, 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 um, mm -mm. I think the problem was the fact that, um, I was really comparing it to, like, American man animal crackers, and that, that was not the case, so that was kind of a problem. Very light, very bland and boring and basic, and, you know, I'm a freak of flying midget, and I'm not about that basic stuff, you know what I mean? Three. Take that back. I'll give it a four. I'll give it a four. All right, let's do a few more things here. I don't know what this is. I never know what these things are. It's all in Japan. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's Everything is literally all in Japan. Like, this is, like, actual Japanese food. It's not just because it's an American company. It's, like, you get Japanese, like, kind of stuff. No, this is actually Japanese stuff that I literally cannot read. And they throw on some American translations every, every once in a while. But, all right, what are these? What is this? Oh, my. If you guys could feel this right now, you'd be like, Midget, what is it? It's, like, a jelly. Oh my god, it's literally like a jelly. Like, it feels so weird. I swear this came from a jellyfish. This is so freaking weird. I think you're supposed to mix these together to make different flavors, but that's pretty lame. Ah, that's pretty lame. All I can see is we got a red one, we got a blue one, and we've got a white one, a.k.a. red, white, and blue. You know what I'm saying? Merca. All right, we're going to try this red one. I, I feel like you're supposed to put this on something. I don't really know. I'm just going to take it straight because, you know, you got ah. Ah, oh, okay, maybe I'm not going to take a straight. You got to do sometimes what you got to do, all right? I'm really nervous about this. It's either going to be, I think this, I don't think you're just supposed to drink this like straight. So I'm really, really kind of scared what I'm going to taste right now. Ah! 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 
I'm making a mess. I'm apt. I'm actually making a mess right now. Um, I don't think I've ever been this messy. And all my other videos, I'm pretty dang messy. I think this one takes a cake though. I literally just got so sticky and so gross. I don't even. How do people eat this? Ugh. I will say though, it's it's pretty dang good. It's ridiculously flavorful and awesome. And the texture is something out of this world I've never had before. It's like a jelly. Yet yeah, super beautiful and amazing, and my taste buds absolutely freaking loved it. Nine, for sure. All right, we're going to try this thing I've been saving because it doesn't really look all that great. Uh, it's literally um, like some green-filled crackers I'm not really looking forward to. Uh, so this is about to be real interesting right now. Ugh. It's really hard to open things with a broken finger. All right, we're going one more. Here we go, baby. I'm really scared. It's green Oreo. Green Oreo, eh? basically. Um... If it's filled with wasabi, I'm probably going to puke, and it's about to be the best video ever. I'm fine. It's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. That was gross. Not a fan of those. Not not a fan of those. Whoa, two. I'll give it a two. All right, we got two more things here. I got this little kind of like stick thing. Oh, God, it's going to make a mess. Oh, my God. No, don't. I've learned my lesson before. We're not going to make a mess. Again. We're going to use civilized uh, technology, a.k.a. known as skizzers, to open up packages now. Uh, so we don't make a mess all around my desk. Okay, oh, my God. I don't know what this is. It's about to make a huge mess, though. It's like this little kind of like stick. I know the bottom wow. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Honestly, it has like a creamy inside. That was pretty dang good. Also, I wish I could be saying like what I'm eating, but I literally don't know. I'm just going to read these out. I've had an Animal Kid cookie, a Yayo Kin salt flavored potato chip, Mongu Chew candy, Literally reading Japanese with midget. This is probably the best part of the video right now. Um, Yayokin seven stick. That's what I just had. Yayokin seven stick. It's got milk cream in it. I'm really still like full of that jelly stuff. Um, Kari Kari caramel twist. Okay. Uh, Monster stamp candy peach gummy Yayokin cocobus. Because I know what that is. Uh, Nor black cocoa choco co coco chococo. Who stole my Lego? My ego. Okashina Mizunu Ami Diai? Yeah, Hiroshima, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sangria Orange Soda, Dynamite Melon Soda, Fruta Machata Sandwicha Kukit. Nah, I totally started, I totally started ruining that one. Uh, that was Frututa Matcha Sandwich Cookie, Yaruku Black Thunder. Wow, that's my favorite one yet. Black Thunder, baby. Black Thunder Chocolate. Ooh, that's one I really liked, though. That was actually probably my favorite thing in the box. Um, Ito Mini Chocolate Chip Cookies. Japanese 101 with Midget. You're welcome. But okay, let's try these, uh, co Cocoa Flakes or something like that. I don't really know. These are literally, like, uh, crispy, cr crispy Cocoa Flakes that, like, literally you have cereal with. I think you're actually supposed to have cereal with them. Because they look like, like, little pieces of cereal. I don't know, we're just gonna eat. Dear Lord, baby Jesus. Dear Lord, baby Jesus. If this wasn't sent from the heavens, I don't know what is. Oh my god. Mmm. 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 This is so good. They're like flakes, but they're stuck together with chocolate in them. That's so genius. These, those Jap- Them Japs, man. They're so dang genius. But okay, guys. That's from the call video for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Um, I haven't done one of these in forever. If you guys want to see more of these, smash that like button. Drop me a comment. Check the description down below for the playlist of me doing all sorts of food from across the across the entire world. Literally, guys, I've done so many things. Thailand, England, Norway. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. It's been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute for sure, but literally go check that link out. Korea. I know I did a Korea one, I think. Check the link down there, guys. Kind of check out some cool videos. I did really like it. Also, check the description and check out everything about Crave Japan. Use this discount code DINOVIP, guys, right now. I don't know how, uh, I don't know who's gonna get it. If you do get it, let me know in the comments down below. But definitely get yourself one of these boxes. I think they're really good. Like, they, my taste buds are like, midget, this is awesome. I need to get more of these boxes right now. But this is the Ramakal video for today, guys. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. 
until next time, if you haven't already, you guys already know Joe. Make sure you be fly and subscribe. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm a fly. Yeah. Hit the hit it, spit it, kill him with the brothers, throwing up the villain, chilling, about to make a killing, villain, always villain, better stack it to the ceiling. Yeah. Haters over there, we're not aware of you. Rapping with my boy Shawnee, a character. Rep the red, white, and blue, America.